Just can't get enough with Depeche Mode on 91.9 Bob FM. It is 8.38, and this is Bob's Breakfast. We have an interesting young man in to uh, have a chat with about what he's been up to and, and some of his accomplishments. Uh, Carson Bartlett is here, and Carson, I've been hearing about you for a little while and some of your exploits on the track. Carson is a cart racer. Julie. Right, it's not go kart. You shorten it to to karting. It's kart. It's mm-hmm. racing carts, right, Carson? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? I'm ten years old. And I guess you're uh, missing the early parts of your last day of school of the yes. year. Where do you go to school? Queen Victoria. Okay, right on. So you're uh, finishing up with grade five today. But it's what you've been doing with your spare time that's pretty exciting. And uh, as a kart racer, you had a, a bit of a thrill. Let's start with the big thrill of. Uh, was it last weekend, the weekend before? Um, it was last weekend. Last weekend. You got to journey down to Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, race on that legendary track, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about this because uh, that is, a, well, I think there's 165,000 seats at this thing. So it's not like bombing around on a go-kart track. And you are a competitive racer and you've had a lot of success. What was it like racing at Charlotte? It was super fun. I love the speed and... Did pretty good lap times, and we came first both weekends. See that? First. <laughs> first. About how many people were you racing against? I was racing about uh, four cadets, and then I was with one junior and a bunch of adults. <laughs> and a bunch of adults. A couple of races. <laughs> came in first. Isn't that awesome? And you've got about a three, since you were able, you reached the age that you're allowed to competitively race, you won the championship all three years. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. And he, I want to add that, that Carson was the only Canadian racing mm-hmm. in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Yes, last weekend. So. so how fast can you go on a, uh, a track like Charlotte? Um, 70 miles an hour. 70 miles an or hour. Or 113 kilometers an hour. Now, how how does this differ from other racing? Because um, that's just like like that's a big track you go around and around, right? With the what, what what's the banked. track like? It's banked, banked right? Yeah. Um, how is that different? So talk about that for a second, then how it, it's different to your normal races. Well, the normal races you need a different front end on the cart and different side pods. Um, down in the U.S., you can run um, the full bodies, and which is what you took there. Right. Yeah. yeah I obviously. Took the full body, yeah. and we ran a little bit bigger slide, bigger restrictor. Uh, I'm stuff. not really sure what all that means. Well, his dad's <laughs> a mechanic, but I think he's got a bit of a talent in that yes. area as well. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So you're able to do that, and it's got the big banked curves. Does that make a difference when you're racing? No, we were actually staying at the bottom. Okay. okay. You stay the at the bottom. Where the apron is. Mm-hmm. So on the flat part, right but. On. I did go up on the bank a little bit. Well, you gotta you gotta pass these guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because normally, like, it's like like a road tour. Is it not with karting or not? Is it normally yeah. just around and around? No, and it's normally a road course where there's turn away a little bit of straightaway and then a turn. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So at Charlotte, it was the big track and then a little bit of road course and then back out on the big track. I see. And you have also raced at Daytona. In your illustrious past as well, right? Yes, I was at Christmas. <laughs> but your home, your home track is Mosport, which isn't far from here at all. No. And I guess uh, that's where you're going to be spending a lot of time this summer. Yeah, I'm going to be practicing a lot. Okay. Is this something you want to do uh, as you get older and uh, really pursue and see how far you can get in this? Yes. Cause I, I, well, I, come to. on. He's a young fellow and he's driving <laughs> fast and, a, and he's doing do, great right? at it. <laughs> I think that's every young man's dream, yeah. right? Or, you know, boy's dream and as an adult. Too. And we're really getting the idea that this is his talent. Like, he's got the talent to right. really go places. And we heard that uh, your, your driving coach has said similar things yes. about you. So this, who's your favorite driver? Jeff Gordon and Kyle Busch. They're two of your favorites? Awesome. Well, they've uh, they've got a pretty good uh, history that, uh, who knows, maybe someday you'll be able to match as well. So for the summer, it's a lot of driving, a lot of practicing, and yeah. uh, probably racing every weekend as well, eh? Oh, we might take one weekend off. <laughs> You're going to let mom and dad have a weekend off, yeah. are you? Yeah, <laughs> but... Then we'll go back to race. Okay, you bet. Well, now his mom was telling me, uh, Jen was telling me that uh, how we. I said, how did he get started in this? Like, how mm-hmm. do you find out about this? And your mom was saying that you were what five, and they had a borrowed cart, and they just took you to a parking lot to see if you would have fun with it, right? Yeah, that was super fun, and, and that's how it all began. Yeah. 
And through observation and the opinions of some other people, they said, you really should pursue this because you've got it, kid. Good and that's for you. what you've done. And in your three years of competitive racing championships every year. Uh, I understand, though, and uh, just like anything, uh, uh, kart racing has uh, really uh, been enveloped by technology. And you run with a GoPro as you're going, and then you upload it to your YouTube channel. Yeah. So uh, you have a oh, lot wow. of followers there? Um, not really. Not really well, yet? let's get that well, going. Yeah, let's yeah. get it going. I know you've got a lot of followers on social media, so anybody can Google your name, Carson Bartlett. Have a look at your YouTube, your Insta, your Facebook, and uh, really get an idea of the excitement of kart racing. 70 miles an hour in these things. I know. I think your parents named you well, Carson Bartlett. That sounds like That <laughs> sounds like a... A race car driver to me. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I have uh, some, you know, observations about you, you um, driving and that sort of thing. And, and just something to keep in mind when you get a bit older and you get your driver's license. Don't practice on the road, you know, heading down to the track or anything, okay? No. Yeah, don't go too fast. <laughs> save it save it for the track, Save right? it for the track. <laughs> okay. Coming from experience. <laughs> well, thank you for coming by this morning, Carson. I know you've got to get to your last day of school. You're probably very excited about that. But uh, I think you've got a bright future, and congratulations on your success on the track. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Ten-year-old Carson Bartlett. He's on Insta, he's on Facebook, and uh, check out his YouTube channel as well. He's going places quickly. Bob Seeger.